What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Tanea. Hey, y'all! And we are back. Wait a minute, because I'm so busy getting ready, I don't have my cookout. We are back for an all new Monday video. Oh, I you. hope that you guys had a wonderful, safe weekend. Amen. Um, I don't think I did anything this weekend. Um, I didn't do nothing. I got my hair done, as y'all can see. I didn't get my hair done, as y'all can see. But my season is coming, you know. Go off, girl. I'm just waiting. Because, you know, something that did happen over the weekend is, like, the fall weather came like a force to be reckoned with like ain't no summer bit like that's basically what it said so you know when the weather goes down enough i'm gonna get these edges laid you know what i was and split this hair dyed no more grandma and be back to my normal self because i come alive in the fall time oh really you know what i was thinking today while i was at work what well, no, I was on my way to work, actually, and I was just thinking about, like, how many people I know who got married and moved towards the West. And that's what I want to do. I want to get married and move to, like, Nevada or Arizona or California. Where's all this coming from? It was, I felt it getting cold outside. Oh! And so... You know Tanea suffers from seasonal depression. I immediately thought about what I could do to get away. So, you want to get married and move? I think that might be my best bet. As long as you can ship dinner over here, that's cool. But, um... I also came to tell you all some exciting news. We were blessed this weekend. We were blessed with the resurrection of wanted. Oh my yeah, because God. you know what? You know, let me let me hold on. Let me say something first because I saw y'all in them comments. I haven't gotten to all of them, but I saw y'all talking about y'all was gonna call PETA, talking about the cat. We wanted to kill a cat. Talking about how we killed the fish, we starved the fish. Well, guess what? I went to go a day later. That's right. I was right. like, you know, I left the dead car. I was like, I'm just gonna leave the dead carcass in there until Saturday. I guess she was having a funeral. Right. So I went in there. I mean, I went to the tank Saturday to fill it up, and Wanted was happily swimming around. I think he might have been asleep when you kept. No, on. no, I don't think y'all understand. Like, Wanted was on his side floating That's when I saw. Sleep. Him. I prayed for him. See. Wanted came alive in the night. Excuse me, don't tell me how fish sleep either. Because especially a goldfish. Okay. Like when I say this is a zombie right now, like I'm actually a little afraid. I don't think a ghost fish can really get us though, but it's just Can you go to try to feed them yet? It's just um yes. I actually went and I bought little tablets for them to just eat off of for the days that I forget to feed them. So that's what they're doing. So Olivia Pope and Wanted are alive and well. Alive and well. I'm not sure if someone buried him in Pet Cemetery while I was sleeping and brought him back. I really don't know, but I just want you guys to know that I plan to be a better owner of my fish and Olivia Good. Pope and Wanted still live. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that we had a very productive meeting on yes, we did. Saturday. Yes. Yeah, Saturday good. with um Uncle Al, and we have some really exciting things coming up. And the first thing I just wanted to tell y'all, because I want to know, I want to know by a show of hands, can't see y'all hands, a show of comments, who is coming to the shop? that we create with t-shirts on our face, maybe some cell phone cases, hats. I mean, I want to know oh, who's you really going to rock. Out there I want to know who's going to rock the show's product. I like, am. Merchandise. I am. Me too. I am. I am. So I just need to know who's going to support because I know who support I have in Baltimore, Maryland. I want to know 
my supportive fans are. So when I bring these out, because I'm bringing them out because I'm excited to have shirts with my face or my sayings on them anyway. But I'm really excited because you guys get to order them. And I loved ordering shirts and stuff from other YouTube shows that came out with them, like The Scorpion Show so and Care Furry and stuff like that. So, so we already done when I <sighs> come yeah. to the you, you know But you're, you're still video. interrupting the show. You know what? All I can say, I'm telling you, when we get famous, we're going to have a studio, and the door to that studio is going to be locked, locked once us two are in there. Locked. All the way locked. It's just like, we're not having people it are just respectful, they don't care about interrupting and us. And they take the they show as a joke. That's what they do. That's okay, because when we are rich and famous, not even really rich, when we are famous, and we have to have a clothes set, they'll see. Um, but yeah, we had a very productive meeting, but I just wanted to put that out into the air. You know, just get y'all ready for what's coming in this season of the show. Because we got some new shit coming. Right. So everybody, get ready. Also, I wanted to speak about something I saw in my comments. Um, I saw in my comments that someone was offended from our comment, by our comments that we spoke on uh, when we were speaking on gay men. Even sure what we say first of all can I just say something I literally sometimes have to go back and watch the show so I can know exactly what y'all talking about because y'all will put a comment like a joke or something one of us said and I will be lost like when I record these shows they go right out of my brain like I almost forget what I said but now I do know that we reviewed Love and Hip Hop Hollywood last mm -hmm. week and we did speak about gay men and we spoke on our opinions of this man on the show and our opinions of bisexual men, I believe. I'm not even sure. I or down low men. Think like, I really did. don't I know. really think we only talked about the boy. Like, I don't think it had anything to do with, like, our personal thoughts right. or anything. Like, I really thought we just talked about the boy in the show. And I do remember when you, and you know, I don't, I wanted to make sure nobody thought that that was serious. You remember when I was like, um, I think I said something like I was sleep with a gay man or something like that. Oh, and you said something like, about and I and you was like you can catch AIDS. Yeah, but you was like you can catch AIDS from anybody having unprotected sex. Like that's what she was saying. So I'm and not I, sure. But that's I went ahead and said that though. Right. So I don't know. Um, so, but I really don't know. But the whole point of me saying it right now is that because the person said that it made them not want to watch the show anymore because they were a gay male, and before we speak on certain things, we need to have our facts and stuff. And I wasn't speaking any facts. I was speaking opinions. I was. Moment. I was about to say that I don't need any facts when I'm speaking my own opinion. Right. Because that's how I feel, and it's really no fact. I mean. It, it's not any facts about this show. Like, we are talking about a show that somebody put out. Like, you know, and if it that offended you in any way, um, I apologize. But I have plenty of gay male friends. One of my best friends from childhood is a gay male. So I know that I would never say anything too disrespectful or anything like that. So I'm like that you should probably get out your feelings because I feel like I didn't say anything too bad. I don't, um, I really don't. As far as me, y'all know who I am and if, it, if you're new to the show, I adore gay men. <laughs> like everybody yeah. is always like you're always around somebody's gay man. Like I even joke sometimes and say that I am a gay man so and I, me, I'm especially sensitive when it comes to the gay community, the homosexual community because everybody just seems to be a little more sensitive. Not everybody, but it's just a sensitive subject for some people. But, like I told the person in the comments, I'm always going to come and give y'all nothing but my opinion. If I don't come and give y'all the real, give y'all my opinion, then I'm being fake. I'm not really... Well, that's the point of the show. Exactly. Show we give our opinion. Our opinion. On different things. So, not saying it's a, a book fact. It's just how we feel about what's going on in the show. Now, whatever I said on that show, at, on the, sh the last show that we did about Love and Hip Hop, that's exactly how I felt in the moment. So, and I'm well aware that gay men watch the show. I love y'all to death. I follow some of y'all. Not just talking to y'all in my comments. I follow y'all on my so Facebook, my Snapchat. I love y'all. But like I said, 
and I told him, if if you feel like you cannot, like, don't threaten me with the, because that makes me not even want to watch this show no more. If I don't want you to leave, but if you feel like you need to leave, then that's what you need to do because I'm always going to give my opinions, but I'm always going to be respectful. So don't. And I feel like we were. Nobody else said that. I, all, I feel, the, was that the only com- comment? Like yeah, that was the only comment. Yeah, so I definitely feel like, you know. I'm going to always keep it real and I'm going to always be aware of who's watching my show. So just don't, you know, I always say on Twitter, watch how you come in these YouTube comments because I'm watching. Like, we not that blown up yet that I can't see every comment and I want to interact with y'all. So just, you know, watch how you come to the comments because I'm going to respond. So now let's get back into the show. Oh, let's get back into the show. So the first thing that we have to talk about Mm -hmm. and I'm just so happy that it's Monday because Thursday when it came out I was um I couldn't speak I got on Periscope after the scandal promo dropped at 9 p.m. and um do y'all hear that I feel a cold coming in my um stop it my my phone won't stop like it's no the button won't pop up we about to go back to the no phone mode. I can't help it that that is it popped up. It's been a bit the whole time. Um, I feel a cold coming in my spirit. I don't know what it it's is. It's the same. It's I freezing want, in here. I want the devil to get away from me. But what I was about to say was, um, so Thursday I periscoped after it came out, you know, and um, everybody was just as excited as me, and I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. Like. Okay, y'all remember we got the little three second promo where it was just like basically Fitz and Liv having sex. So the 30 second promo came out on Thursday and it started off with them in bed and like every time I think about it, I get really, (laughs) I don't know, like I'm wary about my sanity like at first I was excited about Scandal coming out but I lost it Thursday like no like I'm literally just coming back because Thursday night like I couldn't speak that's why I got a press school because I really wasn't entertaining like I was literally in a state of shock on Friday I had to like get off of social networks because of course obsessed Scandal fans were like making gifs and stuff of you know Olivia and Fitz grinding each other y'all I mean, I don't know what Shonda Rhimes is trying to do to me. And I always say be careful what you wish for because, whoa, like, I don't think I'm ready for scandal, y'all. It comes back, excuse me, I have to leave in 11 or 10 days. Not exactly sure on that, but um, I'm afraid. Um, Olix is really going to kill me, and I also promised everybody that I would periscope while I'm oh, watching I think the first it's 10 days because it comes on the 24th, right? Right, it's the 14th, yeah. Um, I told everybody I would periscope for the first episode, and I am just I'm very afraid because Olix is like nobody on TV makes me feel the way that they do. Like, the thing is, um, so me and, have, me and Tiffany have come to the conclusion that when Scandal does air, we will be watching this separately because I just can't deal with her and her, um, Ooh, like, did her y'all, emotions. wait a minute, this, I, and I'm not even on just the naked part, okay, not even just the sex, let's talk about the clip of them. You know, like, just, like, secretly raising that glass to each other. I guess they're at a ball or something. Like, I just don't know if I'm ready to watch Olivia Pope really let her guard down. Like, this is what I've been wanting for four seasons, and I'm so afraid for what I asked for. So, y'all just keep me in your prayers. But, um, and don't forget that Thursday will be our, uh, season four scandal review, which I'm not excited about. I was telling to my last night. Either. That was a terrible I season. I hated last <laughs> season. Like, it was just such a stressful season. So, we're going to get through it, but I'm not excited. Um, but I am excited about Scandal returning. And, and also, new picture. They took new pictures yesterday for season five. So, hopefully this week we'll okay. get. Oh, okay. I was about to say, did they come out yet? No. Only Monday. Though. Right. Hopefully. I mean, they could have put them out today. It don't take that long to edit when you got that Shonda Rhimes money or that ABC money. But. Sure. The poster and the promo picture should be coming out soon, which only means more Olitz. So I just, I'm just, I feel like 
I'm in love. Like, something's happening to me. Like, Alyssa's just... You know why I just feel like I'm not on the same wavelength? Because last year, my heart was broken with um, McDreamy and Meredith. And so... I can't believe you just said McDreamy. I know. You're getting better! It still hurts. Yeah. It still hurts. Tanea's healing. But, um... Like, you know, if they can kill him off the show and break up their love, anybody's love can be broken apart. So, I'm just, like, really not putting myself out. That's the thing. I'm not putting myself out there anymore. I'm not investing myself. You build the wall up? I have definitely built that wall up. I'm not investing myself in any more of these shows, love, interests. Like, I just can't be a part of that anymore because I got hurt so bad. You understand what I'm saying? So, but like, I'm excited for this new season. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see um, um I was like, can I tell y'all I was about to say Wiz and Olivia? I can't wait to see Fitz and Olivia and them grow and um, what happens to Melly. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. What um, happens to um, the other guy. What's his name? Oh, Cyrus. No. Um, that used to like, um, that Jake, Jake. So, you know, I, I can't wait to see what goes on with the other characters too. Like, I'm just, I'm really, really excited for the show, but I just can't put my heart into their relationship anymore because I've done that once and. I mean, but y'all, it out. y'all see where I went. Like, I completely forgot about the other 10 seconds because it was basically all about a list, but. Also, we're going to find out, you know, how Melly being kicked out of the White House is going to, um, you know, affect her and Fitz and, Fitz and Olivia's relationship. We're also going to see... Um, Didn't Cyrus get fired? Cyrus. See what happens with Cyrus and now that uh, um, Lizzie Bear is now the uh, chief of staff. I can't um, believe that. Quinn was about to kill Huck, but in the, the promo we see Huck is still alive and right. the point is 7.52 in. And um, we see Olivia like running and shit. And what I, from what I was reading, let me just tell y'all, Olivia's. Let me just, and then we gonna move on. I read a magazine that said that recently. First of all, you know that Tony Goldwyn, who plays Fitz, sometimes he directs scandal episodes. He directs some of the best episodes. He does. And he recently was doing a scene with Kerry Washington where it said that he, her, him and him and Liv were cuddled on the Oval Office couch. Her feet were on Fitz, and Fitz's hand was on her thigh. And the director who was directing the episode said, you know, Tony, and the script it doesn't say that your hand should be on her thigh so you can move it. And he said, no, the hand stays. <laughs> and, then he, he, <laughs> and that's why it's Terry. Exactly. Like, this is exactly, exactly why Terry's exactly. exists. Like, so, I don't blame y'all, honestly. I do. Y'all I gotta really, get out the crowd. No, But in a statement, he said that he just feels like Fitz is in a place in his life where he's not ashamed, he's not hiding, they are public, so the hands oh, They're public! I'm just... That, like, how public? I don't know. We see, gotta wait. You, did you just see my little... Yeah, my I, saw little it, I saw 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 it! That's why I can't give in, because... Okay. If Shonda rips these two apart, oh, I, you know you. Now all I'm saying is not tragically, not right away. Like me, no, not tragically. Like I, I, think, I, I don't think she's him, gonna kill Fitz. I can't have him going into a stroke and not speaking again. Like anything weird she could possibly do, don't do it. Just don't do it. Okay, but let's move on because I don't want to get to... This will turn into a... Right, because I was about to turn this into a scandal show. Because we will turn this whole show into a... I will turn this into a 30 second clip. It will be a two hour show. Oh, okay. Because I saw... I be seeing some of y'all who don't buy scandal talking about skip scandal part. That's cool, but that's all right because I got about a hundred people who watch this show on to scandal, so y'all knew. But, um... This is the best part of this show. So let's move on. Um... First thing I want to talk about is sports. Serena Williams lost at the U.S. Open. Sorry, Serena. And I don't know how it happened, but everybody turned their anger towards Drake. And what I'm here to tell y'all motherfuckers is that's what you Y'all know what happened when that hotline bling. Like, Like, 
The thing about the, but did you see the meme of um it's like Drake and like all like he's with everybody who lost. That is so I'm gonna make a song about it. I know and I want him with Serena anyway. I was getting mad watching it and watching him all having a damn heart attack over her about the lose. The thing about it is he's very, very passionate about sports. So that is fine. But I just know that him and Serena will never have what me and him have. So yeah. Moving on, um, <laughs> the Ravens lost yesterday, which you know is our team, Ravens Nation. We are Ravens Nation. We bleed that purple. I mean, but we just need a little bit more time to get our offense together. Defense is looking good. We lost against the Broncos yesterday. But they have really, really good defense, so I heard. The Broncos, yes, they do. Like, um, and um, Russell, um, I, I, amazing. Sorry. Amazing defense. So, um, and but also, she, but she said they was the number two. So, who's the number one? I don't know. I'm gonna I don't know. It. But, um, also, we lost Terrell Suggs yesterday, who was a big part of our defense right. line. Well, and he's a big part of the Ravens because he's. I'm just like, because see, my heart hasn't healed from Rice or Lewis. I just told Tiffany yesterday while he was watching the game, I said, I really miss both of the Ravens. I still miss Jamal. Like, I'm still there. Like, I just... <sighs> but... Who is Jamal? Jamal yeah. Lewis. Oh, my God. And who else did we lose? What's his name? What's his name? Tori. <laughs> yeah, it's Tori Smith. Right. Did you mean Jamal Lewis? His name is Jamal Lewis. Is it Jamal Bryant? <laughs> no. Is it Jamal... <laughs> or is it Jamal what? No. Jamal Bryant? <laughs> no. Just... We'll talk Jamal about, Jones? We'll talk about it later. Yes. Jamal Jones? Yes. Jones. Jamal Jones? Yes. I No, because you know people tease us when we do our sports parts. I don't care. I know, but I knew who I was talking about. I just couldn't remember his last name. Don't try to embarrass us. But I miss all our old people. Me too. But we have to realize that you know they're never coming back. They're never coming back. So let's get into the show. The first thing I want to talk about is Vanessa Williams. I love Vanessa Williams. And yes. You know what? Yes. For black. Right Somebody there. told me I need to watch Vanessa Williams' um, masterclass, which I haven't seen. I heard it like what tells it? it tells like everything that's happened in her life. I love oh, to, okay. you know, kind of like a I guess a a, a biopic, mm -hmm. something biopic. like that, biopic, whatever. And um, so she received an apology recently, um, as she should, at the uh, Miss America crowning, which. I really need to do my research on Vanessa Williams. You know, I was just reading up, you know, first black woman to be crowned. Miss you didn't America. know that? You didn't know she was the first black Miss America? I mean, some point in my life I did, but I never really cared to keep that information in my brain. Can you not? How? Black Lives Matter! Shanae Nae. Can I'm you actually Key Lolo, but... Um... But the CEO apologized to her because As he she resigned from the pageant when um, her nudes had surfaced back in the day. And um, the CEO was just saying how they just really feel like they went about, you know, the whole situation the wrong way. And she deserves to, you know, be known for being the first black Miss America. She so. does deserve it. She does deserve it. She deserves all of her accolades. You want to know why? Because black lives matter and they always have mattered. So, um, all the best to Vanessa Williams. Moving on to, uh... And you know it's been 34 years? Wow, really? 34 years and now you want it? You need to give her, like, an award again. A sash again. And the apology. I feel like she should she should have got more. Where's her 40 acres and I'm you? You just gotta take it. Just I take guess. It. Take what you get. Um Whitney Houston. I really don't like Pat Houston. Her uh sister Pat is love. going to hell. So like but anyway, she is coming out with a Whitney Houston hologram that will act it's a 3D hologram and it will tour in 2016. I'm not going to that. So that you can see Whitney Houston's greatest hits. And I've already talked to y'all about these holograms that they come out with. Can I, I'm just... No. Can I just say something? We have the Whitney's Greatest Hits album. Like, the thing about it is, Whitney has passed. Her daughter has passed. What is the point of putting this tour out to make money for whom? Pat. 
Because Pat has um, rights over her estate and something you, else. That means you already have money. That means that you're being a money-hungry biatch. The thing about she it really is... She really thinks she's doing it for the fans, though. Like, that's, that's what she's saying. Let it be article. free. Let it be free. Do a free, a big free concert in Central Park and then stream that shit. And let it be free. That's actually not a bad idea. If it's for the fans... But, um, again, I'm not a fan of this. I wasn't a fan of the Tupac one, the Leah one that they said they were doing, the Michael Jackson one. I mean, that and... Tupac one was hot for Coachella, but I don't want... That was a one-time thing because, you know, Coachella is for a weekend. A weekend, like, that's it. Like, I don't want to... Like, because the thing about it is it just was, like, a little set. Right. You want her to get up and perform for two hours on the house? Like, that's weird as shit. In my mind, Whitney Houston is somewhere in the Bahamas, in the Bahamas. She's anyway. with Tupac, actually. So, so um, but moving on. So now Lathan came out with a song this uh, last week called "Emotional" featuring Deja Lowe. Hold on, because I didn't know she sang. Well, that's the whole thing. In the in the song, she's just saying how she don't want no emotional niggas. She don't need no emotional niggas. And, you know, then Dage Loaf comes on, you know. Not a nigga try me or whatever she's saying. And, um, so now I know. Like, just stick with the perfect guy. Let's stick to love and basketball. Tell, um, singers, sit the fuck down. You know how y'all tell singers to stick to the singing? <sighs> I'ma need y'all to stick to the acting. Like, more than ever. That's just like when um, Shaq tried to come out with an album. Stick no. to the basketball. And you know what, Sana? I really like you. FYI, we're going to go see The Perfect Man this week. So I'll review it on Monday. I mean, The Perfect Guy or whatever it's called. But, um, Sana, no. And you know what else is really bothering me, Sana, is how much you've been in the news lately for all the wrong things. And I hate it because, okay, also today they were saying that she confirmed that she's dating French Montana, which I listened to the part of the interview that everybody is saying that she confirmed. I don't really understand how she confirmed. I mean, they asked her, she laughed, and then she said, I really don't talk about my personal life, but let's just say, let me just say that I am dating. I never heard her say. She didn't say I'm dating him. She never said I'm dating French Montana. She laughed, which kind of gave it away. Then she said, I don't talk about my personal life, bitch. All right, Carrie You're not Carrie Washington, but you should take some tips from her at this point because social media is convinced well, that you are. Well, I've seen her one time with him. Oh, no, I've seen her with him several times. I've been in that Diddy time several yeah, I, times. Yeah, I haven't seen anything since that Diddy. Mm -mm. And, but and the thing is, I don't care. I mean, I don't think, I, honestly, I don't think it's a good look from you for you. And obviously, French Montana is going through some say, some things. I mean, he went from like Trina to Khloe Kardashian to Sanaa Lathan. And I just, I don't know. Like, I've always looked up to Sanaa as like a little, you know, up there, like with Nia Long. Like, but the thing is, she, Nia Long is about to get pushed down too with her Black Lives Matter comment. So, you can't really put the, you, ain't no pussy on the pedestal. Like, you can't do it. So now, I really don't know, but my suggestion, especially if you don't talk about your personal life, I wouldn't, what you've been doing lately, like, don't be in no pictures with this clown. Do I mean, not, he, he might not be, he might just be her homeboy. Don't. Because that's just like, if I got famous and people saw me with Karan, like, I would well, have to be like, I'm not dating him, that's my homeboy. Well, I'm like 80% sure that they're having sex together. But who am I, you know? Just by her body language and her giggles every time somebody asks her, the same with French Montana. But again, that's really none and of you my know, business. You know, he his business, so as soon as the interview come out and they ask him, he gonna say yes. They already asked him, that's what I'm telling what you. What he say? I ain't had none of this. He basically laughed it off, too. But I just, I don't understand why social media is being so mean to her this week, and I don't like it because it's Sanaa Lathan. We love Sanaa Lathan, loving basketball. Right, she's a fucking class, class act. Like, right, chill, chill on her. Like, like, but the thing is, y'all being so mean to her. Granted, um, what's his name? Frenchie is not a good look, but I bet you if his rich ass ex one of y'all out on a date, I would have his baby. Right, like to me, French Montana is a clown, but. 
have his baby quick as shit. He got so much fucking money. Like, I'm not happy what? about dating him, but I mean, it's none of my business. So, you know, let's just move on. Um, you want to tell me about Chris Brown this week? What about him? You just told me about Chris Brown yesterday. What did I say? There's only one thing happening this week about Chris Oh, about Chris Brown and his um, baby mother? Yes. Congratulations. Let's quit. Let's give a clap for Chris Brown. Let's give a clap to all the good black fathers right. out All the good fathers regardless, black or white. All the good fathers. The thing about it is, see, Naya, um, Chris Brown's baby mother, thought that she was going to have sex with Chris Brown, have a baby, get a royalty check, and be taken care of for the rest of her life. Her, her old baby, this new baby, and her baby father. She, I guess she felt like she was really doing some work. But can I tell you something? These new judges, they not playing that shit. They said, they gave Brandon Chris, um, but when y'all get half and half? Joint custody. Joint custody of the baby. And he only got to pay that bitch $2,500 a month. Now, it might go up as she gets older. But seeming as though she is um, two and younger or whatever, she doesn't even need $2,500 a month. Like, for what? For pampers? Because, I mean, to ha if half of the time she's with Chris and half of the time she's with her mother... 15 days out of the month, she's with you, and you don't, you got $2,500. Like, I feel like that's good. I just, I mean, because I, I've taken care of a one-year-old, currently kind of taking care of one right now. And, I mean, they definitely have their needs, but how much did she want a month again? Like, 20000 She was asking for, like, 20000 Like, what could you possibly buy a one-year-old twenty twenty thousand dollars a month and like, the thing is chris is more than likely gonna pay for her schooling right. when she starts school he probably pays for a nanny when she's with him like if you think about it like he the thing is basically bitch he's not paying for you your other daughter and your baby father oh because the bitch moved to la Saying that she moved to LA. This is her thing. She said she moved to LA so Chris could have more time with the baby. But before this court thing, you didn't even want him to have the baby. Like, you're a liar. And you know, the judge caught on to your shit. And he's not having it. And neither are we. Oh. Um. So yeah, all the best Chris, Chris because I believe he, you know Chris Brown is a really trying to turn his life around. He really and y'all don't need to stay in the way of that. Like that that fucking thought don't need to stay in the way of that. Hey, if I get knocked up by a rapper, I'm just gonna take what I can get too. And the thing about it is, I feel like by him being on this tour with Amarion and Amarion is touring with Mega in April, like. You know, not saying that he doesn't know how to be a good father, but it's good to have a friend that's also a father, a young father, you know, and it's, it's just probably like, you know, like, I don't want to miss out. Look how much he's in his kid's life. I want to be in my already kid's life. It's like the baby stage, not less right. than hiding it and sneaking and going to I see it. I don't think but. so. I really don't think so. But um, all the best to Chris Brown. Speaking of daddies, Young Thug implies this weekend, you know what? Thanks. Okay, so Young Thug, <laughs> Young Thug's daughter, a video somehow got out of her, you know, talking to somebody, digging up her nose. Um, <laughs> I mean, digging up there. And someone's asking her, what did you say? And you hear like, my God, what did you say? Mother died. What did you say? A mother died. Watch the video. That's what she's saying on it. Oh my god, let me show you. So I purposely didn't watch it. I just scrolled past Plies it. Plies reposted I didn't see that. and said that, you know, this little girl feels exactly how I feel. This is what I be telling bitches. But he also, like, what whatever the hashtag oh, was, she yeah, said. Oh, yeah, he was it. like, ain't no motherfucking mixtape, bitch. Like, right. I did see that. Right. So, come to find out, the little girl is Young Thug's daughter. daughter. Yeah. Y'all don't know. What, what does Young Thug sing? Um... I can't remember his old song. Oh, wait a minute, but here's a little girl. Sing. Hold on. 
ain't no mixtape, bitch. So, wait, let me look up what Young Thug said. But anyway, Young Thug, Thug sound just like that. I could never wait, understand man. nothing he was saying. Forget that. Why does the little girl have like grills in her mouth She's or cats, whatever? She's cats, but she eat too much candy and don't brush her goddamn she teeth. She looks like plies. Me with the cats, right? That's so funny to me. I don't know any of these songs. You did. Hold on. I'm going to pull this song up. But anyway, so, you know, at first we didn't even know that this was Young Thug's daughter. Neither did Plies. But then Young Thug comes out basically threatening Plies and makes a video like, fuck nigga, take my daughter off your page. I'm don't fuck your plans. Okay. Take my daughter off your page. I'm, um, you don't know me. Don't be calling my daughter out her name. You call her a bitch. Da -da 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 -da. So Plaz comes back out and he's like, who the fuck do you think you are? You can ask me to take that shit down. You don't threaten me and tell me to do nothing. I'm not taking shit down. Did Plaz know that it was his daughter? I just told, it I, did you just say that? Yes. What you said? I said Plaz said I didn't know that. that oh, okay. Was, I didn't hear you say that. Go why? Ahead. Because you're on the phone. I was looking up young thug. We already know what he got. I was getting another one for you. She's lucky. But anyway, then Young Thug comes back out. First of all, can we just talk about how Young Thug looks like a disease? Did He's you, disgusting. Did you see his reply video? I, I pressed play, listened to a half of a second. It sounded like he was sipping lean and right. popped him out. Like all his words were slurring. I turned that shit off. So he's basically threatening plies like, you know, you're going to take that shit down. What's going to be da 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 And then the baby mother put something out saying that, you know, children are like sponges. They soak everything in. Of course, we didn't know. Um, you know, this was taken by a family member. We thought it was, you know, an owl care, which I can that because there have been plenty of videos that me and my sisters have made of my nephew Cameron right that if it got out somebody might call child protective services I have so, a, oh my god I was just looking at my email because you know how I used to like save my videos I have a video of Cameron in his tidy whitey underwears like doing the Ray Rice thing I mean the Ray Lewis yeah. dance like so much stuff so I can understand that part, but whoever was recording this and got and let it get out, shame on him. Whoever it was, it was a female. They should know her voice. Y'all know who y'all baby be with? So now she's all over Mimi's all day this morning when people was like, it's Monday, I'm motherfucking tired. tired. Pictures yeah, are okay. hard to I'm motherfucking tired. So my tired. friend put it up on, Tanya put it up on, on, the, on one of her pictures as her caption, and now I'm just getting it because she was like, Lord, please help me be able to go to school, something, something, something. I'm motherfucking tired. That's so funny now. So, people, keep your kids off the internet. Oh, I got his other song. That It's called Danny Glover. It got Nicki Minaj on it, and she be like, Emmy, Anna, 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 Emmy, 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 like, good. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> um, moving on to Amber Rose and Black China. Have um, sex. Did that get out or something? Oh, no, I thought, I mean, I already know. I'm just waiting for him to come out with it. I know that, I know that's about to be Bash's new stepmom. Like, but, um, anyway, you know, I told you that their new show is coming out. The Kardashians have actually put out a gag order with basically a deceased and uh what's it called the cease and a cease and desist a cease and desist or whatever basically they cannot say anything about the kardashians on their new show because they said that kim k from a source somebody said that kim k says that black china knows a lot of secrets from the she, time that they were does. i mean this bitch was all up in the mansion right don't forget like she was probably in chris room and everything so you know, back then when Kim was hanging out with her, I was looking at Kim like, what the fuck are you doing? Me too, I told doing, you. Bitch? I you told hang out you, with a Kim. Bitch with fucking earrings in her cheeks. Fucking like, sit the fuck down. What's wrong and with now, you? that bitch has gone and told all of your business to Amber, which is a key key to her because she's Kanye's ex-girlfriend. Like, bitch, you just don't. You know what, Kim? I'm going to let you slide because... I told you not to trust that bitch, Kimberly. But you didn't listen. Anyway, she got some. They got some secrets. So basically, the Kardashians don't want them saying shit on that. And also, 
that makes people watch that show if you know that, like, right, that's exactly. Cool. Oh, Chime's gonna say something about Kim tonight, so I'm definitely tuning in. No, fuck you, we not helping you get no ratings, bitch. That's what it's really about. Don't tell my secrets, and we not helping you get no ratings, bitch. And you see how that little circle is just. Been in. But don't think for one second that Tyga and Kylie are going to be together forever. Well, the thing about it is Tyga has been in. That's the whole. That's how Black China met Kim. Cause Tyga was a friend of the family, and since he was dating China, it was, it, because you know they were supposed to be getting them a show. Well, I, I, I understand what I you're saying. Like I know that he was already a friend, but this is some other shit, man. Right, true. Like he's not just a friend. He's I in a. Uh, Jenner's vagina, like a baby Kardashian. So you know, that's no, he. Gross. I'm pretty sure that Kylie shares a lot of shit with him. Not even knowing that when the shit is over, all types of shit gonna come out. Kylie, I hope y'all ain't in there making sex tapes because that on. shit. Have you out. said anything about um the guy who was claiming to ha like he's also been fucking Kylie too? I didn't have enough receipts for okay. it. Okay. So I just didn't pay that no mind and it didn't blow up enough for me. So, it's but too much. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Shout out to Kendall though because it is New York Fashion Week and unlike the rest of the Kardashians and Jenners who are just there to walk around and get Kendall pictures Norton. taken of them, she's fucking working. You know what I mean? Like they're all making money but Kendall is fucking working. Like this is her Korea, she's fucking working. Um, but all the Kardashians are in New York for New York Fashion Week, and they also came out with, they launched their websites, and I believe Kylie also has an app. I went, now, Kim has been putting together... I want to see Kylie's app. I went to, I went to Kim's website. Dope. She just redid it. I know. It, it, it came out today. That's what, mm -hmm. I'm, that's what I'm telling y'all. It came out today, but... Oh, a Northwest guy section and everything. That's really why I went on there. But, um, it was just too much nipples and titties, so I just got off because I just didn't know what was going on. I don't I'm not really a fan of Kim's nipples. Like, it was, a, like it was pictures of her and, um, Oliver, uh, Olivier, Olivia. doing, like, a fitting. And, like, I mean, y'all, like, uh, imagine if I had on nothing right now. Just straight, like, talking and Kanye sitting right there. Like, why, Kim? Like, why do we have to see that? Uh, but I guess because we've already seen it, she feels like it should be nothing. But um, um, I'm not sure if Chloe came out with her website, launched her website today, or if it was an app also. I'm going to double check. But I know Kylie put out an app, and it just basically updates you on where she is, updates you on exactly what she has on, updates you. It's her makeup it. tutorials, and it's um like a, a live. Oh, what it, you can go in with Kim. Chloe and Kylie, they have a live stream now where they could just basically almost like Periscope with you at any time on the website. And they've been doing that all day. So if y'all big fans of Kardashians, this is a good week to keep getting on. But also you can, um, she has like a non-stop playlist of her favorite jams on the Kylie. I mean, I think it's a good idea for Kylie because she's going to get a lot of money. And for some reason, she's the most looked at person on social media right now. Because she's the most talked about right now of the whole family. So, I mean, you might as well get it while you hide. Right. So, but I don't want nothing to do with Hold that on. shit. Hold on. Let's give a hand clap to Chris. Yeah. to get them money. I, Chris, I love you. I wish you could be my goddamn manager. Yeah. Because I need... I'm gonna look into it when we really blow up. Chris, because I know you like black people. I will move And LA. we got the same birthday, so hey. Um, and last but not least, did you watch enough of Basketball Wilds LA to talk about what happened? Last night? Yeah. That shit... Can, okay, can I say something? I don't like Shawnee. Oh, yeah, that's big. I don't like Shawnee. She's an instigator. Um... Um, Jackie is crazy. Oh, like, have been. Wh wacky tacky Jackie. Like, she is just a nutball. Um, Malaysia. Malaysia was about to whoop Jackie's ass last night. Really? She, okay, so what happened was at, at this, like, the last one of the last scenes is, like, her event for her betting line, and she invites Tammy. Uh-huh. So, hold on. Tammy had a meeting with Malaysia. Or whatever, and they were just talking. She was Malaysia was saying how about why she really don't, you know, fool with Dre no more. Uh -huh. But the, she was also saying that her and Jackie are not friends, but they just, you know, they just started talking. But she's been saying that 
the whole time, Jackie, we're not friends, but we can work towards something, you know. Yeah. She's been saying that the whole season so far. So, Tammy goes to meet with Jackie. And Jackie's like, oh, so she's like, how are you in Malaysia? Oh, Malaysia, she's my friend. And so Tammy's like, I don't think she likes you like that. Oh, right. Lord. So then Tammy says whatever to her. So then at Malaysia's event, Tammy is in the middle. Here is Jackie. Here is Malaysia. And so um, Tammy just says, "Well, Malaysia, because I when we were talking, you said that because you know she'll do that because because y'all didn't know Tammy. about the old basketball wise bitch." Typical Tammy. So she said, "Cause Malaysia, you told me that y'all really wasn't friends, but." That's not what Jackie said. So Malaysia said in front of Jackie again, we're not friends. <laughs> like that's why I, I like Poor Malaysia. She said Jackie. we're not friends. She said we just started talking again. She was like, and we are working towards something, building something nice. She was like, but right now I cannot confidently call Jackie my friend. She said, as I said plenty of times. Jackie, well, you know, that's real hurtful because I thought we were friends and his, this is Tammy. <laughs> the fucking devil, bitch. Right, like, I was just like, Tammy, so then, sorry, I hit you in my brains. So then Malaysia gets up to go leave or whatever. So then, um, Br Brandy's sitting there and Jackie says, well, let me put on lipstick for a husband I do have. I'm about to go get a drink with this husband that I do oh, have. Oh, shade, huh? So Brandy goes over to Malaysia and she's like, Jackie just shaded you. And she told, you know, Malaysia what happened. Malaysia walks back and get like this close to Jackie's face and was like, what's, what's wrong with you, yo? And then they just cut it off. Oh, I can't. I gotta watch it. I, I gotta afraid. watch it. I gotta watch it. It was. I was. I can't believe it. I'm so they happy. Going, they going on the trip though. I'm so happy that Tammy is here now. Like finally something. Like this show was getting a little dry. Starting shit up. Like for real. So what? Anything about Dre in this episode? No. Basically, basically everybody is against Dre. Well, this what I was going to say, because I was looking at comments from it this morning, and somebody was like, but the problem is, is that all of them bitches are jealous of Drea, and Drea is unfucking bothered And then I read something about the reunion, and Drea will not be in attendance of the reunion. I believe they already did the reunion. And Drea won't be in attendance, and not only and will she, she not be in attendance, she Shawnee. wouldn't have her sit down with Shawnee. And again, she said she's not coming back. But they also but, said that Shawnee believes that this, this could is, possibly be the last one. I hope it is. Um, the thing about it is, I'm not surprised because she wasn't there last year. Right. If y'all don't, re I mean, if y'all can remember, she what they did have her. She was in her room with someone else and somebody else. Like she wasn't even on the stage, so that's nothing new. Like I feel like they really even shouldn't have a reunion because most of the stuff is so sur it's surrounding Drea and her shadiness and if she's not gonna be there to answer no questions or say anything I wonder if they get like do you know what see cause Shonda Rhimes she knows you have to sign a fucking contract where you have to do reunion you have to do fucking interviews you have to show up to shit you don't have a choice or you lose fucking checks and we all know that Drea can't afford to lose no fucking checks well she got Miss One so maybe she don't care and she got Orlando so maybe she don't care about losing checks well bitch Orlando is out for the season so you better fucking either way like the thing about it is I don't think who the fuck did Drea think she is I don't think anybody is jealous Sorry, of Drea like for what for what like what is there to be jealous Everybody of? Everybody on that show to me looks better than Drea. I'm Not sorry. even that everybody looks... Everybody has the same thing Drea has or can get. Like, everybody on the show has their own business. Everybody on the show can get long track. Everybody on the show has a fat ass or can get their ass done. Everybody on the show has big titties. Like, what is it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that light skin shit. Right. Only thing, like, Malaysia was married. Malaysia was married. She decided to divorce her husband because he was cheating on her. Like, just because, I mean, what, the, what is she jealous of? That bitch ain't married. He took that fucking ring. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, even, I would say even 
Jackie. Jackie has more money than Malaysia. I mean, the, Jackie has more money than all, probably all them bitches on there. What is she jealous of? Nobody, y'all want people to be jealous of Drea. Je Drea wants people to be jealous of her. Drea's an evil ass bitch. I agree. And if y'all don't can't see that, then y'all ain't real. Well, you know, ever since that last episode recently, I really had to wash my hands. I don't play with that cancer shit. Talking about your story's boring. You're, well, you're on here because of my past. So she was like, because of your hoish ways, that's why I'm here. Yes. Bitch, are you dumb? Like, like, I don't, you know what, like, Drea, I used to love you. I used to, I used to love you, but I can't be taking up for you. No and that little life. fucking friend, Angel, you need to shut the fuck up, too. Now, Malaysia was wrong by not wearing any of that girl's lingerie. Yeah, this Because is the, the thing about it is, that was the whole point of her coming. Right. Now, I understand why Malaysia didn't wear it. Why didn't she wear it? She said that it was too raunchy. Oh, okay. She well, she should have told her. Well, she said because she was looking for... Well, she did. And because she, it's not... The girl didn't... Like, she didn't select no pieces before the oh, okay. thing. She just bought her some stuff. Oh, okay. But the stuff that she bought her was, like, sequins and, like, nipple covering. Like... And Malaysia was like, I'm a mom. She yeah. was like, and she was like, I am selling luxury bedding. She said, but I want it to be, she was like, I don't want them looking at my ass. I want them to buy my sheets. Right. So. Well, and also Shawnee said she's really thinking about this being the last season because at this point it's boring, which I agree. I mean, it's like y'all are struggling. I mean, now that Tammy's here, the ratings are still, still doing pretty good. I mean, because. It's nothing else on on a Sunday night, to be honest. Right. So, it was so like, unless you're watching football. Right. But um, we're gonna go now. But I have Malaysia You're supposed to be having a show. It's called Malaysia in the City. So hopefully, hopefully it does good because there's a lot of people who don't like Malaysia still. I love Malaysia. So. I just started to notice. She'll that, have me. Because so, mm -hmm. the thing what made me know is Malaysia is she has a fat ass. Like, and you know what? And she punched Laura in the face on the first fucking episode in the first season. Nobody remembers that? Remember we just spoke about how most of them have a fat ass? Yeah, okay, but it was it's the fat ass and that she punched Laura in the face. Alright, alright, alright. On the first episode, like who does that? Malaysia. Uh, she got up and punched that. I will never forget it. Yeah. I've been a fan since then. Well, we're gonna get ready to go. Um, my tooth is trying to act the donkey. That's because it's cold. It's probably the fan. I cut the fan on because I was feeling kind of stuffy, but um, we'll be back on Thursday for our scandal review, which won't be long. This video actually wasn't supposed to be long because these topics sucked to me sure. earlier, but whatever. I know y'all love seeing me. I love talking to y'all, but like I said, be on the lookout for some new and exciting things. I hope everybody has a great week. Hopefully by the time I see you guys, I'll have a better attitude because I was just so sleepy this morning I still feel sleepy so but right now I have to go and eat dinner take care of Rex oh I'm going to eat dinner um what was I about to say did who bought that shower thing what shower thing that music shower thing I didn't know what the fuck that was it make it play music you can hook your it's, a, it's bluetooth I've been meaning to buy one for a couple of weeks so I just haven't bought it so I'm so poor poor report but either way um you just hook your phone up to it like a Bluetooth and it plays your music. But you can hear it real good because it's in the shower. Who knew? I had Future playing this morning, going off. Then I went from Future to um, Jasmine Sullivan. Are y'all interested in her shower tunes? Oh, how are you doing? How are you doing? I went from Future to Jasmine Sullivan. And I feel like I sounded just like her in the shower. And then I went back to Future. So, if this is your first time watching, make sure you come back and watch us every Monday and Thursday. Well, we record on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, make sure you subscribe, get to know us. And shout out to the person who said that we, we reminded them of the female Scorpion show because I get that a lot, but every time I hear it, it's like the first That's time. That's such a compliment. Because they though. are my faves. Like, at first, at one point, they were the only people that I watched on YouTube. Right, so... That's always a great compliment, but a good, great compliment. But for the rest of you guys, y'all know what to do. Make sure y'all share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell them about the show. Let them know that next week our scandal reviews will return at 10 p.m.
at night. Oh my god! Oh my god, is right. And we will be periscoping live next week. But as always, if you didn't know, now you know. Now you know that there's no show like the show. I'm gonna give a shout out to Tanea's hair. Did y'all see it? Hey! Can you tell them the secret about it? What? The secret of how they're in? Yeah, I mean, it's not no secret. Yeah. They're crocheted. These are crocheted. Like, don't they look real and everything? Yeah. It's like, yo. Can I tell you this moment when I have to get up and do my hair? How did you feel? I don't give a. If they was twin sisters, I turned up. Because I didn't get out of the bed at 10 o'clock and I had to be to work at 11.30. Say bye. Bye, y'all.